How's it going everybody? We got a good match here. Getting ready for the Dub City VR tournaments. We've got the Game Boys versus Strive Gaming tonight. This is round two, season two of Dub City VR tournaments. We should be starting in about 10 minutes. The reason why we started a little early, we're gonna be showcasing some products from San Lackey. So we got a few products here to showcase from them. They send it over. They're really nice to send us over these products. We got to test them out. We got to run through them. So we're gonna give you guys some, some good reviews on them. Let you know how it all worked out. But we're gonna be starting up this match in about 10 minutes. So sit back, get some popcorn, get your favorite snack, get your favorite drink. Get ready for a showdown. It's gonna be the Game Boys versus Drive Gaming. Let's take a quick look at these two teams right here. That's who we got right here. We got Outcast Game Boys versus Drive Gaming. Going to be led, Outcast will be led by Z Fenris, and we're going to have the Strive Gaming led by Lon, the Magic Man Wick himself there. I actually kind of like that nickname I just gave him. Lon the Magic Man Wick. <laughs> he always does some magic when he's out there. Really good player. Both teams have really good shooters on, on either side. So this is going to be a good rough and down game. It'll be interesting to see what maps they're going to pick and what maps they're going to be banning. We'll be starting up in about 8 minutes. Hopefully everything will get on time. I've got my, my little setup ready here. I've got the, public, the private lobbies all up and running. So we're going to see what's going down and who's going to be hosting what. I'm just hoping that uh, when I was talking with Z, he's going to be hosting the lobby. So let's hope he hosts it. I've also messaged Lon as well. Uh, oh, there we go. Yep, so Lon is telling me he's going to that uh, Z will be hosting it or Outcast will be hosting it. And I've got the code here. So that is perfect. Both teams have organize that up so we should be all good to go once it all jumps up and gets on there we got about eight minutes before this starts up grief what's going on strive versus game boys outcast this is gonna be two great teams let's do some product reviewing here since we got some time to kill here we go everybody we're gonna turn on this camera so we can see what we're testing out how's it going everybody disney j here yep that's me that's what i look like <laughs> Let's take a look here. We got some cool products. Uh, thanks to one of our great sponsors, San Lackey. Let's start off with this beautiful ping pong paddle. This thing right here. What's going on, Mad Dog? We're doing some product reviewing. Talking about what we got sent over to test out. We got a ping pong paddle. This thing actually, you know what? Surprised in all the quality. Actually really good, high level 3D printing. Nice Velcro straps. Not worrying where you're gonna, your controller is going to go. You just got to make sure when you tell them which one you want, you're either getting a left-handed or a right-handed paddle because it will make an, definitely make a huge um, difference in your controller. So you can only have the left controller on here. And I have the left controller set up on another one. Sunglasses indoors. Yeah, I love my sunglasses. So I, you know, sunglasses indoors all day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, ping pong paddle was nice and comfortable in your hand. It fit perfectly. You know, great, worked nicely on 11. Definitely something everybody should be checking out. Let's go into actually one of my favorite products from them right here. Guys, golf club right here, okay? When they told me they were sending me a golf club, I thought this was gonna be a cheap, little, you know, dinky, plastic golf club. We're talking full, real steel shaft, real golf grip, it's like you're holding a real golf club in your hand, perfectly weighted. So when you swing this, you are getting a perfect swing at every time. One of the best products I've ever seen for golf here. And of course, let's not forget the most important one, their gun stock. This gun stock here, great gun stock by them. It's a magnetic one, so it just clips in. Uh, back, back gun stock part where your um, Trigger controller goals is actually going to be locked in by magnets as well, but it only fits in on one location. So it's stuck right where it is where you see it. The front one, 
You can actually move forward or back as much as you can. You can also, one fun part about it, I'm trying to find where I'm at. You can actually change the way it looks and have it more of a uh, sideways profile as opposed to having it as a straight profile. So you can actually choose how you want to have uh, the gun stock rocking with you. Nice and comfortable. This thing was actually really, really comfortable. I mean, I didn't think I was going to break it or bend it at any time I was using this gun stock. Great product from them. I do have a Pro Tube uh, gun stock that I do use, and I broke that gun stock. This one did not feel like it was going to break at all. Uh, they are, I, I know I was hearing from them that there will be, uh, game will be starting in five minutes at nine o'clock, Mad Dog. You got five minutes till the game starts. Um, they do, did say that they're going to have adapters for this for different, uh, for index and other stuff. So can't wait till those come out. But we are going to get ready for the match. I won't be on screen. You guys don't have to look at this right here. I'm going to be popping off right now. So all you guys are going to do is just end up hearing me talk. So let's get, let's get my face out of here. So that way you guys can enjoy what you guys all came here for. All right, everybody. Mad Dog Grief, what are we thinking? Outcast Game Boys versus Strive. What maps are we banning here on this one? Let's start it off. What, what do you want to ban? We're going to ban some Summit for Domination. We're going to ban... Uh, what are we thinking? Lumber for Comp Control. What don't we want to play against when it comes to Strive? What do we want to stay away from? We got about three minutes. I told uh, both teams to message me just before they start. I'm waiting for the lobby actually to pop up here as well. So it's three ads. Oh, you know what? I definitely will have a. I can have a talk with the crew at Dub City on how they have the ads set up. Uh, I don't really get to control the ads. So I do apologize, everybody, uh, for the ads. I don't get to control that part of it. Uh, I can make some suggestions to them about the ads but uh, yeah definitely don't get no control over them we're watching serial game boys outcast versus strive gaming here let's bring up the teams that's who we got here what's going on sticky We're just waiting. We got about two minutes till this game starts. Anybody that wasn't here, if you guys stick all the way to the end, uh, I will do another showcase on the San Lackey uh, products, Gunstock, Golf Club, and um, Ping Pong Paddle. I'm not going to pop in all the time to show that because uh, I know you guys don't want to look at me all day. Uh, so I'm, I'll pop in at the very end to show you guys all the products. If they're taking a long break in intermission, maybe I'll pop in and just show one product. But uh, if you guys stay towards the end, I'll definitely do all three products so you guys can take a quick look at them. We got two minutes. We're at the two minute warning. Make sure you get those uh, snacks and drinks ready so we can sit back and have a great, great Sunday night here. Just check on the Discord here, make sure that they are all up and running. Everybody giving the thumbs up across the board. I see a lot of locked lobbies here. So there's there's going to be last minute practice, last minute preparation going on. A lot of team meetings. You know, who are we bringing in? Who are we not going to bring in? Are we going to see Nero on this one? Is Nero going to go for another 50 kills? Who knows what's going to happen? Game Boy is going to shut down Nero. They're going to hold him back. I think if you if you can hold back Nero, I, I think that's the key. That's the key guy you want to hold back. You gotta kind of box him out so that way you you control if you control him in the game, you can actually have a good chance at controlling the rest in the game. Once you let him go free and wild, it's a tough one. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be biased, Mad Dog, but I am rooting for the Outcast game, boys. You know that. Definitely going to be rooting for them to win. Take out Strive. Move to the next round. There we go. Zote in the house. Let's go, Outcast Game Boys. Let's not forget 
We also do have a uh, code for 10% off all products from San Lackey. We've got uh, it's 10% off. Use the Dub City code, and you can get it off any of their products. Not control them. We got to box them in. Is what we got to do. We got to try and like force them in another direction. Put them somewhere else on the map. got to keep up with him. Yeah, maybe if we all throw the backpacks on the floor, we take off our gun belts, throw everything on the floor, maybe we'll keep up with him. And I am actually just waiting now. And we are at 9 o'clock right now. Teams are definitely no longer on the uh, private section here. So that means they are all in lobby, getting their uh, meetings on. I know there's no way in heck that they would definitely tell each other in advance what they're banning. There's no practice going to be done here. No preparation for these guys to get ready for this battle. They're definitely going to be waiting till the last minute and play some mind games. Let's see what we're going with here. We're just waiting for a lobby to open up. There are a lot of lobbies today. A lot of two-person lobbies. Not sure why people are, are all doing two, uh, two and three-person lobbies, but there's a lot of that going on. I've messaged out both teams to, to give me a thumbs up when they are ready to go. Who we got coming into the house here? Bubba's in the house. How do you do, the Bubba? How's it going? Rusty Trom is in the house. What's going on? Playing the new Star Wars mod. How is that? A lot of pew pew happening? The guns actually hit pretty straight? Or are you like a stormtrooper and you can't hit nothing? We're waiting for this to get on. Cheddar's in the house. Slay's in the house. What's going on? How are you guys liking the new intro here? for uh, Dub City. Let's give a big shout out to Tasty Fox for putting this uh, little awesome intro here together for us. And I'm getting a little message now from the Outcast Game Boys. I think they're gonna be getting ready. Let's see, it's just typing up a message. Yes, sir, that is Disney J casting. I think I got the voice that everybody recognizes in all in all of our pub lobbies. What's going up, one true prodigy? What's going on, Slay? Game Boys are ready. They're, they're telling me they are starting now, so let's see how long it's going to take for this little lobby to pop up here. Domination. We just got to flip the sides here. Weapon three. And we are in, let's get it going here in domination. Let's follow some people. We are in hard hat. There's Z. They're taking over Charlie Point. We've got the, oh, Game Boy's getting taken out there with the two-piece grenade. Send that Uber delivery over. That's two-piece chicken nuggets right there. Galahad taking them down. Nero already making his action moves. There's Z. Using that wall, great cover. They're losing now A. We've got Drive taking, trying to take three points. They're holding out to two. We got a trade going on there right now. Here's Wade. Wade taking, taking over Bravo. Ooh, big grenade. Getting taken out by Nero. Here's Lon. Let's see where the Magic Man moves himself. He's going to try and come around the backside. He's looking down at Charlie. What's he rocking? He's rocking a CZ right now, actually. Overlooking, just making sure there's nobody around. Now he's looking over the top. Oh, and he gets taken out. Wade taking out Lon. 
Lon thought he was out in the open. Here's Lon trying to make a run back in again. They're going to try and roll a three squad. Lon getting taken out. Rice trading. Nero taking him out. Crimson taking out Z. Let's bring up our scoreboard there before we forget. All you got to remember is when you hear a boom, either duck or run or else you will die. Nero already at 10. He's 11 in one already. The boss just hanging out waiting. Hopefully someone's going to walk by. We've got the Game Boys holding two points right now. One at 100, one at 44%. They're losing Charlie right now. And that's what the boss was waiting for. Being all patient, just waiting there till somebody walked by. Here comes somebody else. Oh, they get out of there really quickly. Now they're on the chase. That's Z. The boss trying to find him. Walking that CZ. Looking for somebody to shoot at. Oh, and Z takes him out. There it is. When you hear that boom, you are done. Nero gets taken out by Blue Dreamer. Lonwick overlooking Charlie Point. Using that for their advantage. We got Strive taking two points. Actually, one and a half right now. B's at 41%. Lon gonna come inside, grab some ammo. See where Lon is gonna go over to. There's a the two-piece chicken nuggets by the boss. He's just dropping nades on people. Sending everybody some dinner. Making sure they're fed for this game. Lon only overlooking Charlie. Hasn't left from here. Let's see where Crimson's going. Crimson coming through the tunnels. Gonna go to B. There he goes. He's looking his way. Takes out, takes out Jay Real at Biscuit. The boss just dropping nades on everybody. Nero taking out Z. Oh! Blue Dreamer taking out Crimson. Crimson thought he was on the open there making that little jump turn. Blue Dreamer game. No, you don't. That's my biscuit. Step away, please. Now we got Game Boys taking over B point. Who do we got hiding here? It's Nero. Stepping up on top of those boxes. Let's get used to that one, guys. Nero now taking. Oh, he gets taken out. Z just pops him from behind. There's J Real overlooking on Alpha. Game Boy's holding down two points right now. Score 363 to 321. Points should be moving fast once you're at 100. Strive trying to take down Bravo. Oh, J Real getting taken out by Sir Galahad. Rice taking out Nero. 17 and 7, the big lead by Nero. Followed by the boss at 14 and 6. On the Game Boy's, we got Blue Dreamer leading 10 and 9. Here's Nero making his run. Gonna run right past Bravo Point. They know someone's gonna bite. The nades are just getting thrown. Blue Dreamer dropping some chicken nuggets on the boss. This is the spot everybody wants to hang out at. They're, they're just holding up. Oh, and he didn't see him. Z didn't see Nero as he ran right by him. This, everybody watching, this is where you're gonna take that little note right now. Hang out at Hard Hat is hang out at that corner. Because you know you gotta have some patience. You stay there, you're gonna pick some people off. It's a great cover point for Bravo. You got both sides to watch. We've now got Strive taking over 100% of B, 36%. Oh, actually, they're jumping up on Charlie now, 52%. Nero taking out Rice as he ran up, using everything to his advantage. Oh, there he is, seeing Blue Dreamer as he ran up through the smoke. Going back to that corner, gonna move around the wall, taking out Z, Wade taking out the boss, Nero taking out J Real. Okay, everybody, we gotta put some handcuffs on Nero or something. Stop him from doing what he's doing there. 23 and 8 right now. Let's look at the other side and see what's going on here. There's Z using that rifle. Let's take a look at what he sees. This is what he sees when he's looking through that rifle. And he gets taken out by Longwick. They trade on that one. We got Rice making his run. Rocking that light armor and that CZ. Does he have a si He's rocking with that silencer on it. Running around back to Alpha Point. Right now we've got Alpha is all that Game Boys are holding on to. Bravo and Charlie is being held on to by Strive right now. But Charlie's is on a move. It's being brought down back to Game Boys. They got some people there. Rice hanging out at the top. Just waiting for somebody. Gotta watch your back just in case Rice. Nero loves coming through that door. 
We've seen it a couple times. Throwing that nade over. J Real just watching down at Charlie's side. Just covering his teammates back just in case he wants to come down. Another one rocking CZ. Everybody using the CZ right now. J Real moving in. Oh! Did not see Sir Galahad coming out the door. He knew he was around there, but did not see him. Wade starting his run up from Alpha. He's going to try and get the Charlie point. Making his way back around again. Coming around through Alpha. Major coming in right now. He's taking some shots. There it is. Gets taken out. Blue Dreamer got taken out by Galahad. The boss taking, taking him out. Here's Lon Wick making his run. Just shooting through the smoke. Picking off J-Real through the smoke. That was more blind fire right through the smoke than anything. You're just shooting and hoping someone is there. Lon Wick using that wall now for perfect cover. J-Real taking out the boss. Nobody knows Lon is there hanging out. Here comes somebody by. Oh, Z just takes him out. They just get traded on that one. Actually, who, Sir Galahad nading and taking out Z at the same time. I believe that uh, Nero is on PC. Rice looking over top of A point. Or sorry, over Charlie point. Just looking for somebody to shoot right now. 33 and 10 for Nero. Who's coming around? Oh, and there's Rice taking out two. Couldn't finish off the third. Let's take a look at that replay. Just looking for somebody to shoot right now. 33 and 10 for Nero. Who's coming around? Just and there he is, taking out the two people there on that one. Wade coming out through, through the back side of the, of the door. Oh, gets grenaded. He gets needed by Nero. Dropping him a little chicken nugget, saying, here, you, you look a little hungry. Take something. Lon coming down. Got to give credit here. Strive just using those nades to their advantage. Score 193 to 72. Oh, gets taken out. Way taken out Lon. Side of the head. Assassin style. Here's Nero getting up on Bravo Point. Oh, and the nades are just being dropped everywhere. Somebody send over these guys some, some bomb-proof umbrellas. And Nero just putting in that work, 38 and 12 right now, followed by the boss, 25 and 14. Wade leading the group, 14, followed by, sorry, Blue Dreamer leading the group at 16, Rice with 16, and then Wade by 14. Nero just putting in all that work. Someone has been, been practicing since this update. The boss just holding the point, 161 to 45. Let's find some people here. Lon just picks off Wade as he try to come through pipes. Now he's gonna go backside. Gonna try to go on to Charlie Point. 155 to 32. Got a little turnaround happening here. Getting that pre-fire on. He's gonna go upstairs. Oh, and he gets taken out by Z. Z taking out Lon as he was coming up through the dark. Royce making his run. Let's give it out to the Outcast boys. Not giving out anything here at the game, boys. They're holding it together. Holding it tough and strong. Gonna fight right to the end. 139-19. They're holding up two points at 100%. Strive now taking over Alpha Point. G Real gonna try and take him out. Couldn't finish him off. Nero taking him out. We got Nero now running through the doorway here. He's gonna come out the backside onto Bravo side. Gonna run back in. See a little action happening here. 40 and 12 right now. 41. 113 to 12. 113 to 2. 11. And that's gonna end it. 111 to 0. Strive taking the first one on that one. We're going to wait now for that next match to start up. We're just going to wait here until this next lobby opens up. Hopefully they're not going to change sides on us. That would be really nice if they didn't. Great game there. Taking it right to the end. Fight to the finish for that one.
Let me get my pen here so I can just mark down these scores here. First game going to strive there. We're waiting for the second one to start up. We've got a code here for us, so as soon as that starts up, we're going to get in on it. We're just holding off till that second match. Now it's going to start. This is the second of the Domination. We should be going to a whole new map. They don't need to switch sides on Domination, so hopefully they won't be switching sides on us. But if they do, we'll just make a quick adjustment on the, uh, the ticker and the uh, scoreboard at the top. So let's hope and see what's going to happen there. But we are just waiting for this to open up. A lot of lobbies here. Uh, we've got tons of lobbies that are uh, on private right now. So we're actually, hopefully, these guys are going to go quick on this one. We are getting right into it here. We're getting into the action. We didn't change sides or anything, which is really good. We're getting into it. We look like we are in standoff right now. Let's see who we're following. We're following Rice. Let's bring up that scoreboard for everybody. I like this. The teams were organized. They were jumping right in on it. Let's take a look and see what's happening here. Standoff, we got four points. This is going to be a fast-moving game at four points. We know the fight zone is going to be Bravo, Bravo and Delta. Those are the two big fight spots. Z getting taken out, but actually trading with Nero on that one. Who do we got running backside? Here comes Wade. He's going to go through the gas station. Cutting around the side. Two people here to take on. Takes out one. Couldn't take out the second one. Here's the boss hanging out at Delta. Throwing the nades. The boss just carrying as many nades as he can. That backpack is full of them. Rice taking out two people there. We got Cheddar in now. Who did Cheddar change in for? He's in on this one. Galahad is out. Cheddar is in. What's going on, Sofa King? Last game went 150, uh, 120 something to, to zero. So we're going to see. We're going to give a fight right to the end. Four points here. This is a tough one to hold. Blue G are making his run in from Alpha. Throwing in that nade. Someone's been practicing those nades. That was a good throw. Nero taking out Blue Dreamer. There's Crimson King throwing the sidearm. Coming through the mechanic shop. Taking out. Ooh, just takes, takes out J Real. Nero taking out Rice. Crimson now taking back uh, Charlie Point. Just watching that door. Doesn't care who comes up behind him. Just shooting anybody that comes by. Nero making the run right past him. They've now got three points on hold. We've got the Game Boys holding one. Try, they're taking back a second point there on Delta. Here comes Crimson King. He's going to come in trying to find him with that little power slide. Oh! The underhand shot as he came through. Couldn't finish him off right on Delta there. Z coming in. Using that long range gun. Oh, couldn't finish him off. Lonwick getting taken out. J Real taking out Lonwick. Crimson taking out J. Blue Dreamer taking out Crimson. There's Nero dropping those nades. What's up, King Game? Keeping that fight on. 432 to 400. This, this one is the one where it's going to roll the fastest. Four points. If you don't at least have two points on lock here, your numbers are going to go down really fast. Game Boys need to pick up a second number on this one to keep, to keep up in the game. If Strive holds three points, this could move way too fast. And once you get, once you get more than halfway, it's going to be a hard, hard fight to come back from. Lonwick going to go into the store. Just take a quick look at Bravo there. Nobody here. If you ever watch Strive, they always have team buddies here, always backing up each other. Lon just went to check on somebody. He's out of there, saw that was under control. He's moving to the next point. Always two guys, always finding two of them. Lon just always checking out the backsides here. Let's see who else we got here. There's Z checking the back wall. He's going to go take the long way around. 400 to 333. Strive holding up three points. Oh, gets taken out. Nero taking out Blue Dreamer. Ooh, Z taking some shots. Gets taken out by Crimson. Cheddar putting in some work today. 13 and 5. 
Big number by Nero. 20 and 5 there. Let's not forget there that Nightbot. Anybody needs any contractors or any VR gaming here? San Lackey, one of our sponsors, is giving our contractors a 10% discount code. Just use Dub City on that. Here they come in, putting in all that effort. Let's follow somebody here. Who's coming in? Rice coming in. Coming in out of Alpha right now. He wants to start shooting some people. Looking for somebody to shoot at. He takes out Nero. He's going to jump that wall. Climbs right over like he's Spider-Man. Now they're taking back Delta. Game Boy's getting back in the fight here. Taking back Delta. They're going to try for Charlie. Rice just looking to see what he can see. Oh, he saw somebody on the left there. He knows he's in trouble. They're coming. Getting low. Oh, and he gets taken out. Rice getting taken out after he takes out Crimson. He knew they saw him and they were coming for him. Try to use that crouch there. Oh, Nero just standing out in the open on top of that roof. There's the boss. Throwing nades like it's no tomorrow. Crimson throwing nades. Sending the chicken nuggets to everybody. He's making sure everybody's fed tonight. The boss getting taken out by Rice. Here's Lon making his run. I'm running from backside of Delta. Trying to find somebody. He saw somebody there. He's reloading behind the wall. Oh! What's Lon using there? That's not a... Is that a CZ? I don't think that's a CZ, actually. It's not. He's using something different on this map. Last map, he actually rocked a CZ. But Lon likes to change up his weapons depending on the map. Rice taking out Lon. Lon taking out Z. Let's see if we can follow Mr. Nero. Here he is, 32 and 8 right now. Let's see how what he's up to. Rocking that CZ. Just throwing those clips as he's just running around shooting people. Use that window. A lot of pre-firing coming from him. Taking out Rice. Sofa King telling everybody. Lon is just there to tell everybody what to do. Well, he is the captain of the team. Blue Dreamer taking out Nero. Nero taking out Wade. Blue Dreamer just watching that back door if someone's going to walk by on him. There we go. Two Game Boys. Oh! Blue Dreamer knows someone's coming now. Lon Wick you, sending in those double chicken nuggets. Oh, AS Valve. That's what Lon is rocking. It's, it's an AS Valve. Well, Slay, that's what Slay thinks. It's an AS Valve. Somebody come. Oh! And that's what happens when you stay on that point for way too long looking in one direction. They're definitely going to come from behind. And they're going to spank you in the side. And that's what happened. Z taking out Lon. Rice taking out Nero. 301 to 121 in this match. Let's see what we got. Someone's throwing some nades. Who is that? G-Real just throwing everything he's got. Nades and flashes. Let me throw you a kitchen sequel on there. That worked out for him. Taking out Cheddar on Bravo. 293 to 109. They got to start doing something to get some points back. G-Real taking a knee. Hoping he's going to pick somebody off as they come through that door. Again, not checking that backside. Hopefully, team is communicating with them that they are coming still out of the uh, barn there. Making sure that no one's flipping. They're now taking back Bravo. 285. Oh, J Real taken out by Lon Wick. The boss now coming in through. He's going to come through the door like it's nothing. Just running through. No fear. Lon and the boss trying to fight their way through. Ooh, trading on that one. The boss and Blue Dreamer trading. Lon just coming through like nothing's there. He's like, I'll walk in on through. There we go. Game Boy's now trying to take back a triple point. They're losing Bravo, losing Delta. Ooh, Lon Wick taking out Z from the door. Let's see who we're rolling through here. We got two Game Boys following each other. Blue Dreamer throwing, throwing a nade in the gas station. Ooh, he couldn't finish off Crimson. Crimson taking him out. Nero 41 and 11. Followed by Cheddar 22. Cheddar putting in some work. Rice 22 for 22. Followed up by J-Real at 14. Let's get ourselves a little overhead cam here and see what's going on. Let's get in that Channel 9 helicopter. See what we got happening. We got somebody hiding out here on Bravo. Let's see what where they're going. They're going to go inside. Let's get him. He's going upstairs. Let's see who's outside the barn here. Nobody hanging out the barn. All I'm seeing is red tags everywhere. 
245 to 9. This is going to be the end of it. They're holding on three points right now. Look how fast that point moves. What's up, Third Wish? Toxic popping off as usual. That's going to end this one. 241 to 0. We are moving on to a comp control map now. So we are moving on to cop control. We're just waiting for them to start up here. Uh, hopefully they're staying on the same sides again and they're not changing because that will make life so much easier on me. But we will wait and see for what they're going to be doing for us. So we are actually going on comp control. So let's hope they uh, stay on the same side. It is 2-0 right now. Sofa King saying outcast no match. They're a very good team, I'm not going to lie. Strive is a hell of a team. They put a lot of practice in and a lot of hours. So anybody that goes up against them, I don't, I don't care what team you are, it's going to be a tough one. There's a reason why uh, Lon and the boys there, they put in all that hard effort. But we're just waiting for this one. Third Wish, you guys play them next. We are just waiting for that lobby to open up here. Now that they're in comp control, so you know what stage we're going into right now. We're going into the, um, so what do you want to ban stage? So what map's third? Sulfur King, since apparently you know what's going on, what map you want to see Strive be banned from? Strive Apex will be a banger. You know what? Apex has a really great team. So it will be definitely a good game. Just waiting for this lobby to open up. And again, everybody, big shout outs to our sponsors. Caveman Studios, Astraeus, VR Central, Red Run Gaming, San Lackey, Let's give a big shout out to all these guys. Degenerate decals. Dub City putting on this tournament. Let's give a big shout out to Tasty Vox. Doing these great um, overlays. Doing this great intro right now that you guys are watching. Big shout out to him for, for putting in all that hard work. Like I said a little earlier. We will be showcasing at the very end if you guys want to hang around. We'll be showcasing a bunch of gear from San Lackey. So we're actually just waiting for them to open up a lobby here. As soon as that lobby gets opened up, we'll get this game underway. So we are just waiting for it. But definitely, everybody, stay at the. If you want to stay at the end and watch, you're more than welcome to. I'm just gonna pop in here for a quick second. Everybody's dizzy, J. If you guys want to see at the very end, we are gonna be showcasing some products from San Lackey. So definitely, stay here, stay at the end. If you want to see some cool stuff, I'm gonna pop back out of this screen so you guys don't have to keep staring at me, and we can get right into what we are actually all here for. We're just actually waiting for this lobby to open up. As soon as it's up and running, we're going to have a game on our hands. And we are underway, everybody. We are in comp control right now. Let's get somewhere in here. Let's see who's, who's on point. There's Z taking the backside. We've got the... Yep, everything's all up and running nice and right here. We got some tags being taken out. Let's bring up that scoreboard because everybody wants to always see the scoreboard. What's up, Hulk? How's it going? What's up, Sean Linder? We got Z not using the top uh, of heaven today. For everybody wanting to know, they did patch up 
uh, the ladder here. So you cannot climb up on top of this building where the building over by heaven anymore. That's all been patched up. So uh, no more sneakiness of people trying to climb up on the roof. We got slow motion. He's making his way through the back now. Looks like slow motion jumping in for, for J-Real. We got a little change over there. We got Pen Daddy. Pen Daddy being brought in. Uh, Sir Galahad being brought in. So we've got a uh, few changes. The boss being pulled out. We got Cheddar being pulled out. We got a little switcheroony going to happen in here. Pen Daddy just watching the back door here. Just on the side door, sorry. Waiting for somebody to walk by. Z just making his way in. Let's get a little overhead cam here on that point. Let's go and get in that Channel 9 helicopter and fly over and see what's going on. There's Rice hanging out by the tree, trying to just make his way out of spawn. Somebody at Shitty Blue right now, just hanging up, waiting for people, using that wall for perfect coverage. It's Nero, using that wall as coverage, making his way around Shitty Blue. Look how fast he just, that guy just flies when he's, somebody give him some roller skates there. He's always on, on the move. Nobody on point. That's it. This one is ended. That's, that's a full cap on that one. That's 20 points. Full cap. Let's see where we're going to now. New data station appearing. We are going to all the way bottom side of Delta. This should be fun. Delta side is always a, a, a little bit of a mishmash here. We got Galahad mid staircase. Rocking, what is that? M16 he's got there or M4A1? That's an M16. Just using that halfway of heaven. Got some smoke coverage. They're all coming down. They all guessed wrong. They were all guessing for, for Red House. Full bad guess. That's it. We've got Game Boys taking advantage of that mistake on uh, Strive part right there. Speed capping it as best they can. Now we got a full Strive run for that point. Trying to stop that speed cap. 39. We're at 40%. Oh boy. He's out in the open. Galahad just taking out Rice. Sitting out in the open. Oh. Now that's it. They've gone into um, spawn lock right now. They're all here. The whole entire Strive team has just made their way in. Now they're starting to cap it. They're bringing back the neutralization. We've got Crimson just hanging at the top. Galahad on for the speed cap right now. He's just going to park himself here. Doesn't even have to do anything. He can just park himself and just wait. We got Z just using that rifle to pick people off. Making some noise. Getting over to that wall. He sees somebody in that hut. Oh, and he feels it too. Oh, Crimson coming out and jumping around that corner and taking him. We got Wade making his run right now. Nero and Red Rock, best friends. <laughs> Nero 12 and 1. Starting off a little slow on this match, as we can see. 100 to 70 is the score right now. Ooh, there we go. Slow motion taking out Sir Galahad. Here's Pen Daddy in a, in a gunfight with Rice. Rice winning that one. Rice slowly making his way. He knows it's going to start raining. Here he comes. There's Nero taking out Rice. Oh, using that logs for cover. Takes out Rice. Grabbing his tag. He's like, I'm going to take that. Thank you very much. I'm going to use this wall for cover. Jumping up on that ledge. Just watching. Knows exactly where they're going to be coming from. Let's follow him in the helicopter. Always right. He's pretty much running backwards at this point. Does not let anybody get behind him. Let's see who we got here. Someone's hiding out inside the church. It's slow motion. Hiding inside the church windows here. Hoping someone's going to walk by so you can pick, on, pick him off. We've got a new data station. That was a full cap for that one. He's hoping it's going to be inside back church. We got some guessing happening here right now. We're going to be unlocking in 11 seconds. We look like we are going uptown right now. We are going to mechanic shop. Wade wants to get into the ghetto. See if he can do some spawn suppression or hold somebody. There we go. You guys were both wrong. One tag. It's a 99. No 100. Sofa King, your team going to get a chance up on Strive here?
There we go. Make sure you get that tag so it's not a 100. We got Wade running backside. This is the problem with this point. It's a long run. Once you die two times, it's almost don't even bother with this point. Your, your run is way too long on it. They're just holding this point. This is gonna look how fast that's just moving. They're transmitting right now. They're holding this point. Nobody's gonna get near this right now. We got two guys just watching the inside. Probably one person on the upstairs. Yep, there he is. He's watching the upstairs of the point. Slow motion, prepping for the next point already. They're gonna hope it's gonna be down here. This is gonna be a full a full cap for uh, Strive on this one. Nero only at 20 and 2. Slow motion getting taken out by Nero. Sir Galahad waiting at the top to see if anybody's gonna come. This point we all know is burnt already at that. No one's gonna be making their run at nine at 19. This is a burn point. They're setting up for the next one already. You might have one person just kind of straggling around up here. Just see if they can pick somebody off. But you got three strive members just running on the backside to Red House. They're gonna be hoping for backside Red House. And it's gonna be backside Red House. Good guess on their part. They're gonna put the lock down now on here. They're gonna backside. Here we go. They're gonna they're gonna doubt to heaven and hell right now. Making their way around. Galahad checking everywhere he goes. Slow motion coming on in. He took out Lon Wick. He's gonna start capping. Throwing some. What is he throwing there? Smokes? Throwing some smokes. He's got three smokes. He touched it. He's running out of there. Nobody capping. Should have gone for the cap instead of gone for the for the staircase there. At least bring that number as high as you can. Now you got Sir Galahad up here watching that point. We got Strive now starting to cap it off. Who's on point right now? Let's take a look. Let's see if we find who's on point. Ulan Wick getting naded off. But Rice actually shot him before the nade could go off. Nero actually on point. Actually, this is a first for me. You know what? Nero's growing as a player. Because he doesn't usually... Uh, stay on point. You should just see him running around the map shooting people. Good on you, Nero. Great job. Get the point. Ooh! Wade did not see Nero there. Just gets taken out. Uh, Nero will rob your dead body if you're around him and you are using a CZ. He will rob your dead body. And Light Armor does give you that extra mag. And you do need to carry it with you. Uh, or stop. Sorry, you need to stop at an ammo crate to pick up that extra mag. We're at 93 to 20. They're going to get a full cap here. If they get the full cap here, this game will pretty much be done. The Game Boys need to find a strategy to move up here. We got Strive just holding the wall up here. Galahad looking down at, at uh, Ghetto right now. We got Pen Daddy and Crimson watching Red House. They're going to make the wall here. This is the great wall of Strive. You're not going to get through it. You need to throw some nades. Throw everything you've got in order to take these guys out right now. Here comes Slow Motion making his run. They're getting the full cap here. 93. It's going to end at 93. There should be a, it should be a one point difference right now until the next data station. Everybody hold together right now. Nobody move and that's going to be at 92 to 0. That's number three for Strive. Let's see if Game Boys are going to stick around for a second one. I'm going to message up the Game Boys to see if they are staying around for another one. That is three. They don't actually have to play if they don't want to. But let's see if they're going to stick around and fight it out. Go for one more. Let's see what's going to happen here. I'm going to be messaging up the Game Boys right now uh, to find out if they are going to be playing one more. Let me just hit them up quickly. You know, I, I tell everybody, let's let's go four. You lose, if you, even if you lose the three, just go for it. Have one more fun match. You know, give it everything you got. We're all here watching this. Why not? GG's to both teams. Let's give it up to the Game Boys. Sticking around and fighting out right to the end. Just messaging up the captains right now to see what they say.
Big round of applause to both teams. Big round of applause, guys. Let's take the second here and thank our sponsors here. Let's thank Dub City VR Tournaments for putting on this great tournament. All 24 teams in here, great job, guys. Let's shout out to all our sponsors. Red Rum, Red Rum Shooting Club, OGY Zuko, Astraeus. Who else we got in here? We've got San Lackey. We cannot forget about San Lackey. We got VR Central, Degenerate Decals, Caveman Studios. How can we forget about all these wonderful sponsors? San Lackey is even given 10% off on all their products. Uh, just use the Dub City code, which is Dub City, and you can get 10% off um, all any product that they have. We'll be showcasing their products at the end of the match. We're just waiting to see if they're going to get it to number four. Let's hope they do one more. I've reached out to both sides. If anybody's got that secret line in uh, to anybody on lawn side, let me know if they are going for a number four. Let's give a big shout out to everybody in the chat, everyone watching the stream. You know, if you're watching in big screen with all your uh, teammates, big shout out to everybody there. You know, everybody in the chat that's keeping this going. Mommy Marshall, how's it going? I see you in the chat there. GG's everybody. We're just holding off here. Don't go nowhere. We're going to give these guys a few minutes here because they're probably figuring out what map they want to play. Just holding on here. So what's going on? Thank you so much. You know, I, I just have so much fun doing this. All, everybody playing makes this so much fun for me to cast it. So I just have a great time with it. Dan, Dan's in the house. What's going on, Dan? Give him the big. Let's go, game boys. We're just holding on here. Checking out on uh, seeing if anybody's going to tell me. Let me just reach out to Lon. I'm trying to see if anybody actually is on from the Game Boys. Just hopped on. Uh, just to let you know, Dan, it is 3-0 as of right now, Force Drive. So we're just waiting to see if they are going to play number four and give everybody a fun show. So we're just hanging out here for a few minutes. We're chilling out. You know, have some fun in the chat there. Uh, the scores, I have to look back and see what they were. I know it's 3-0 uh, right now. Big shout out to Tasty Vox. Let's not forget him. Look at this wonderful, amazing uh, startup screen. You know, he put a lot of work into this intro. He's put a lot of work into the overlays. Tasty Vox, you know, put this all together for us. I just need to sit back and uh, sound really good. That's all I got to do. We're just waiting to see if they show up here. Let me see if uh, anybody from the Game Boys are on. I'm hitting up everybody I, I can see on the teams right now to see what is going on. We're going to give them another minute or so uh, to see if they are going to jump on or not. Uh, so we are going to give them another minute. Because they probably should know already uh, which maps they are going to play. And if they are flipping sides. So they should already have that uh, all in on both teams. And I have a feeling they might not be playing number four on this one. I am waiting to get full confirmation uh, from somebody on the teams. If anybody out there, Cheddar... Uh, if you can reach out to Lon, or if you know if they're being, if they're playing number four, can you uh, hit me up and let me know if they are doing that? We are just hanging out here, and I think we will be calling it. But before we go, if anybody actually wants to see 
any of the cool San Lackey products. I'm going to be showcasing them right now since uh, it's looking like we are not going to be uh, getting another game at the moment here. I'm thinking no on number four as of right now. Uh, but I'm just I'm doing the refresh as many times as I can here to see if their lobby does pop up. And I don't think they're going to do number four here. I am waiting to hear. I'm waiting for the official uh, message from them before I actually count anybody out. You never know. But while we're waiting, let's take a quick, how's it going, Ari? That's me, Disney J. How's it going? I was lucky enough actually to get some products sent in by San Lackey. We have a beautiful ping pong paddle here. This thing actually great quality, I'm not going to lie about this. Great quality, well 3D printed, nice Velcro straps with their branding on it. Make sure when you guys order it, you pick which hand you are getting, left or right, because these will come either in left or hand right, uh, left or ha right handed, just because the grooves, the way they're cut out, will fit either your left or right hand controller. You can't interchange these with your controllers. So keep that in mind, very well made product. This one is my absolute favorite product here. Um, I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. I'm just doing a quick refresh to see if they are playing. Uh, and it's looking like nobody yet. So we're gonna keep going with our uh, showcase here. This is my favorite product. It is the Golf Club by San Lackey. Your, your controller straps in just like it does on all the other products. Velcro it in and it locks in left or right handed depending on where you're picking. This right here is the best part. It's actually a full steel shaft with a real customized golf grip. This thing is 100% real golf feeling, perfect fit in your hand, weighted perfectly. When I was using this the other day, I could have swore I was on a real golf course swinging a club. Got to make sure your roof is high enough when you're swinging this uh, because if you're going for a full drive and you go for a full swing, you will bring that club up right above your head but it is fully perfectly balanced and weighted. It's like you have a Callaway in your hand or a TaylorMade. I love this thing so much. One of the best products that I've ever got to test out. But the one everybody's been waiting for, the San Lackey Gunstock. This one is magnetized, nice and heavy. You, this thing is not gonna break. Two nice steel tubes in here. It is on magnets. Your backhand here, which is your trigger, it is locked in with a magnet. It locks into one spot only on the gun, so you can't move it forward or backwards. The one that can move is your front grip. Good magnets on it. It locks in very well. You can have it in two positions. Position one, it is straight. Position number two, you have more of a sideways grip when you're running. Some people like that. Some people would rather have it forward. It would be your choice. You will have to calibrate uh, whichever option you are using. It is a great feel. It's nice and tight on you. It's, this thing ain't going nowhere. It doesn't slide at all on you. There is no slide. Once that magnet is locked in, it's not going nowhere, right? And it's got nice release. Very easy to lock it back in. I don't need to look at where I'm going. I know exactly which way I'm moving and stuff. Great product from San Lackey. They right now have a 10% code going on. Anybody that wants to order anything from them, use the Dub City code. Get your 10% off. Uh, why waste some extra money if you can save some? And we look like we are going to be calling that match now. They are not on. Let's give a big shout out to everybody watching. Everybody in the chat. Everybody in the stream. All, all players that are going out there. Sorry, I talk a lot with my hands. Uh, so I'm going to shut the camera down here. Uh, but thank you everybody for watching. GG's to everybody. Thank you Hulk so much for the GG's. Big, big shout out to all the sponsors. OGY. VR Central. Red Rum Shooting Club, Astraeus, Degenerate Decals, Dub City for hosting this great tournament. You know, all 24 teams in here. Big GG's to all of them. Let's keep an eye out for our next rounds. We have a bunch of games coming up during this week. This is your last week uh, from that two-week uh, stretch we had for any patchwork or patch updates that were coming out. So we do have uh, this Monday to Sunday is your last week to get your round two games in. Uh, so I do know Outcast, uh, the Outcast versus the Lady Killers will be on Thursday at 8 p.m. OGY Zuko will be casting that match. 
Um, and there are a few other games uh, already starting to be scheduled. So make sure you always check out that event schedule to see when your favorite teams will be playing. So you can all, everyone can get in there and watch their favorite team play. I'm Disney J, and I'm going to be signing off. Thank you so much for watching our cast, and have a great night, everyone.